Hey, this is Charlie Starr from Blackberry Smoke, and you're listening to 89 FM, the radio rock. Fala, galera, beleza? Eu sou o Wendel Corrêa e hoje eu vou conversar com o Charlie Star, o vocalista e guitarrista da banda Blackberry Smoke, para falar sobre o novo álbum que eles estão lançando, chamado You Hear Georgia, um pouco sobre o Brasil também, tudo isso com exclusividade para 89, a Rádio Rock. How are you, man? Great, Wendell, how are you? I'm fine too, thank you, man. And I want to start to ask you, how have you been during these crazy times you are living in a couple of years? Well, it's been interesting, um, the first part of it you know was was pretty tough being at home not being able to go on the road and do our jobs but it was great you know getting to spend time with family and now you are releasing the new album on friday you hear georgia how was the process of writing and recording this album it was interesting um wrote a lot of songs at home uh locked down you know um and i wound up Right. I had a lot of songs already and I, I round, wound up writing more with uh, with some buddies that were in the same boat, you know, and, and uh, saying, hey, let's I got this idea, you know, say, oh, okay, lay it on me, you know, and we would a lot of songs got written that way. So that was interesting. And then making the record was really uh, we didn't really feel it. The the I don't think the pandemic had a lot of. um influence on the record once we got in the studio you know you just close everything out and you're focused and it's just like any other any other time and the songs are uh, about georgia but you you recorded on nashville right yeah we made it made it uh, at rca studio a in nashville and how was working with david cobb the producer fantastic yeah he's my favorite uh favorite producer that we've worked with thus far and i want to As you guys are talking about Georgia, I want to ask you more about Georgia. For us here in Brazil, who doesn't know the city, the city and the state, the city of Atlanta and the state of Georgia, how would you describe Georgia for those who ha has never been there? It's beautiful. Um, the landscape is beautiful, very green. You know, up north there's lots of, that's the, the start of uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains. So that's beautiful. Um, Atlanta is a big city, you know, it's just like any other big city There's lots to do lots and lots of people, lots of good people and bad people, you know, just like everywhere in the world. But Georgia is uh, typically a laid back southern place, you know, there's a lot of um, religion and music and, you know, um, it's just a great example of southern culture, I think. And we hear a lot of musicians in music about Georgia here. Uh, when I was hearing the, the new songs, I remember Rick Charles, Georgia on my mind. And even uh, a more early one from John Mayer when he sang about white Georgia. <laughs> yeah. And what do you think is the biggest legacy of Georgia uh, for music? Oh, well, there's so much. There's so much Georgia music from Little Richard and Otis Redding, James Brown, Ray Charles. R.E.M., the Allman Brothers, the Black Crows, B-52s, Driving and Crying, Widespread Panic. Uh, it's just, it's crazy to think about how many different kinds of music. So you can't really put your finger on one thing. You know, there's so many different things. And there's also some really special guests on, on this record. Uh, correct if I'm wrong, but it's Warren Haynes from the Allman Brother Band, Jamie Johnson and the Black Bad. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. How was work with them? Fantastic. Fantastic. So easy. They're all just so fan such great musicians and great friends, you know, and it was really, it's exciting to be making music and include your friends. And did they met you on the studio? Jamie did. And the Black Bettys. Uh, Warren recorded his stuff remotely. And do you have a favorite track on, on this record? I like them all right now. Ask me that in, in a year. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And you guys are going on tour in a few weeks, the spirit of the soft tour. What do you expect this time on tour? Do you think people and you guys in the audience will be even more crazy, a lot of more energy after this, this pandemic? I think so. We've already been playing some shows here in the U.S. and the South, in Tennessee and South Carolina and Florida. And uh, it, it's just, I can't even describe it. It's, it feels normal. Do you prefer to be on the studio or on the on the road? Uh, both, you know, two different things. It serves two different purposes. Um, we're a traveling band, you know, so it's it's really an addiction. 
to travel. But I love working in the studio. I love making records. And talking about Brazil again, what do you remember from the concerts? Because I, wa I wasn't there, you know, unfortunately. But I watched yeah. the videos. The, the audience were crazy. They sang louder than I did. So that was, uh, that's what I remember distinctly was uh, I wasn't sure if they would know the lyrics um, because of the language barrier, you know, and they did. It was fantastic. And do you think you come to Brazil when we here in Brazil are good again? Yes, as soon as, <laughs> as, soon as possible. And I was watching the live stream yesterday with Paul and Brad on, on you, your YouTube channel. A lot of Brazilian there. Do you oh, receive cool. a lot of come to Brazil? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's great. That's great. <laughs> You also celebrated the 20th anniversary, right? Mm -hmm, yep. What do you attribute the band longevity? I don't know. Well, I mean, we love each other um, and we love the work and the music, making the music. Um, I think that maybe I thought about this the other day, you know, just take, for example, Guns N' Roses. They got so popular so fast and then they broke up, but we didn't. It's been a very slow process this slow bill, and we're nowhere near as popular as Guns N' Roses, I'm not comparing us like that, but we didn't explode uh, early, you know, so maybe that's why we've worked hard. When did you realize, oh, this is something huge we're doing here? Uh, well, the first time we sold out a show on our own without opening for someone, uh, that's when I thought, oh, this must be working because there's a line of people to get in to hear our songs. And when did, did, it, ha did it happen? It was around the time of the Whippoorwill album, 2011, I think. And when did you realize you wanted to be a musician? When I was a kid, five, six years old, I started learning how to play guitar and I thought I could do this and I really love it. I'm talking about the shows you're going, you're going back to do again. Do you have a pre-show ritual? No, not really. <laughs> just playing the show. <laughs> yeah, just walking just the, to the stage. Uh, you guys are really proud of Georgia, and you also did a playlist on Spotify called Georgia Songs. Mm -hmm. Who did that, that song? That are all great songs over there. Oh, yeah, we put it. That was all just favorites that we picked. That's great, man. And I want to uh, ask you some quick questions about mu music, your preference as a musician. Do you mind if I do it? Sure. Uh, the first music you remember hearing? Is my dad playing guitar and singing, uh, singing old bluegrass songs and gospel songs. So he is your main influencer as a musician. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the greatest album of all time, in your opinion? Uh, the Rolling Stones' Exile on Main Street. Oh, you know that by heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't have to think about it. No. Your favorite songwriter? Uh, that's tough. Um, well, Bob Dylan. Yeah. 80 years yesterday. Mm -hmm. Great one. Yeah. And your guitar hero? Billy Gibbons. And your favorite singer? Paul Rogers. And the most underrated band of all time, in your opinion? Little Feet. And your Saturday Night Paris song? Um, Flashlight by Parliament. <laughs> That's good. And the song that makes you cry? Uh, Fort Worth Blues by Steve Earle. You were, you were the quickest one that answered the, this question. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. And talking about new music, do you listen to new music? New music? Yeah, any bands you, you would like to suggest to your fans to hear it? Yeah, I, I like um, Chris Stapleton and Jason Isbell, Sturgill Simpson, Coulter Wall, The Wood Brothers, um... Hmm. Tyler Bryant and the Shakedown. Any message you wanted to leave to our Brazilian fans, especially about the new album you hear in Georgia? Yeah, we hope you enjoy the new album and uh, we love you and can't wait to come back to see you. Thanks so much. I appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Looking Take care forward to, to hear the full album and see you guys here in Brazil again. Yeah, me too, man. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. 89, Rádio Rock.